Entrance to IITs, remember, could get tougher if Union HRD Minister Kapil Sibyl decides today to go ahead with his proposed reforms, introducing weightage for 12th standard board exams in admissions. The final percentage has not been worked out. That will be fixed by a committee set up by the ministry. The ministry is also planning to raise the cutoff percentage for your board exams. You need at least 80%, not 60%, if you want to get into an IIT in your 12th board exams. Okay, so a big question here on Talking Point. How much weightage should a Class 12 board exam really be given if you're an IIT aspirant? On that debate, we're being joined by Gautam Puri. He's the Managing Director of Career Launcher. Also, Amita Vattal, Principal Springdale School, joining us here on India at 9. Uh, Mr. Puri, if I can first come to you. Uh, the HRD Minister seems to suggest that by this proposal, he will also crack down on coaching institutes, perhaps like yours as well, because he wants students to focus on their board exams and not just on their IITs. How do you react to this proposal? Unfortunately, everyone seems to think that coaching institutes are the root cause of all evil in the country. And unfortunately, this very step is going to be a big boost for the coaching industry because now a student will be forced not only to go for coaching for IITs, but also to go for tuition for the, the board exams. So it is a double benefit scheme as far as the coaching industry is concerned. But you don't believe students will now be more focused towards their class 12th exams. They will also now study more intensely for their class 12th exams and not spend nine months in a year studying for the IITs. Absolutely, I agree with that, that they will be forced to focus a little more on the board, exam, on board exams along with the IIT preparation. But this is not going to reduce the uh, focus on IIT preparation. On the contrary, it will ensure that students will not only go for tuition, but also for IIT entrance. So, so they will have to prepare for two things simultaneously. It's a different thing that you, if you want to prepare well, if you want to do well in IIT exams, you still need to have your fundamentals of board exams clear. Okay, you uh, cannot uh, go to a higher level exam, which is, uh, board, which is IITs, before having your fundamentals of boards uh, in place. Uh, Ms. Wattrell, how do you respond to, to that? Do you believe that 12th standard students must do well first in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in, in uh, board exams? Do you believe that that is the critical thing? Mr. Puri, is, is, uh, you know, what's wrong with that? That, you know, let them, let them do well in board exams and only if they're really good in board exams, by then they are 16, 17. Surely they must be given the power, Mr. Puri, to do well in board exams because coaching classes are turning out to be factories. See, I, I've never said that board exams are not important. I have in fact said, and, in, and when I look at what we, when we prepare students, we first make sure they have their fundamentals, which is what the board focuses on in place. And only after that, you go to higher level problem, which is what IIT focuses on. So you cannot prepare for IITs without having your board exams fundamentals in place. No, Mr. Puri, having said However, that, there are many in the education sector who now believe that since the class 10 board exams have been given away, perhaps to increase the sanctity of the class 12th exams as this proposal has been brought about. Is that a line of thought you agree with? No, no, I don't agree with that. You don't agree with that. Amita Vatal, no. uh, just a quick question to you. How do you react to this entire proposal? Class 12 board exams have their sanctity back, especially if you're appearing for an IIT joint entrance exam. No, I think it's a wonderful initiative and for sure the bane of the senior uh, secondary schools has been to keep our children into the schools to make them regular during their attendances and for sure it's going to affect the uh, tuition sectors uh, because there have been cases where children are, uh, have been going on for their tuitions and not coming into school and I think it's very important now that they will be taking school teachers seriously because they do feel that the school teachers teach the CBSC subjects uh, far more in a far more concise and uh, a Ms. systematic manner than it is being taught in the coaching centers. But, but, so but, I surely but, but, think that they will take a certain amount of beating. But Ms. Patel, what about you know students, let's say from Bihar, we were uh, speaking to people from the Super 30 group which coaches students for IITs, has a high success rate. They say a lot of our students uh, may not do well in school exams, but we train them for the IITs. Now certain state boards like Bihar may suffer uh, uh, in, in that regard in terms of getting more students from the state into the IITs. 
No, but then uh, there has been so much of emphasis on school learning uh, systems and uh, for whatever it's worth, whether it is a CBSC board or a state board, uh, one is looking at school education becoming more and more progressive, more and more involved and that has uh, been the initiative that is being launched in, uh, for the last four or five years, Ms. ten what, years. Ms. So what, I, very, I don't very think quickly, that this is going to happen. Very, very quickly, what's the point? If a 60 percenter can get into IIT, why ask him for an 80 percent? He's been bright enough, he's cleared the joint entrance exam through a competitive media where thousands have put, uh, come forward. No, but then why have a school in class in 11 and 12 at all? Why don't you just go do 10 standard and why let, not let them do the go basics? the coaching way and get... Uh, no, I, I, think, I think that is not what we're looking at. Education is not about just getting into an entrance exam and clearing it. It's all about life. It's about learning. And okay. that's what a school system teaches. That is a school space. And that's a very important space that we can't forget, especially between the ages of 14 and 16. Okay, point taken, Ms. Vatal. Uh, thanks very much uh, to uh, Ms. Puri, Ms. Vatal, for joining us. Uh, maybe Kapil Sibal has once again ignited yet another debate in his tenure as HRD Minister.